Hi, we just finished meeting for pronunciation practice on Monday, December 4th, and we started with nibble. <laughs> N as in hit the vowel, nibble, nibble. And then polyester, polyester. Visit, the same vowel I is in both of them, V and zit, visit. And we worked a lot on V today. So remember, if you have trouble finding the correct placement for V, it's the same place as F. The top teeth touch the bottom lip. And you have constant airflow. And F has no voicing. There should be no um, vibration in the vocal folds. So for a V, excuse me, for a V, you just have sound in your vocal folds. So F. So it's a good way to find the position. Make your F first and then change it to a V just by adding voicing. And don't let your lips round. If your lips round, it will push your lips forward and then your top teeth can't touch your bottom lip and it will sound like a W. Whiz it instead of visit. <clears throat> water. Water. The T changes to a D because it's between two voiced sounds and it's in the unstressed syllable. Um, hot is the same vowel, hot water, ah, ah, but you won't hear the T in hot. You'll just hold it, the tongue in the T position, hot water. Um, attack is here as an example of the T's are between two voiced sounds, the two vowels, but they don't change to D because they're in the stressed syllable. We would never say a DAC. It has to be a T. Attack. Bread and breath. Duh. At number seven, hold your tongue in the D position. Bread. If it's at the end of the sentence, butter and bread. You won't hear it at all. If there's a vowel after it, bread and butter. Now you'll hear it breath breath the tongue has to go th at least not it doesn't have to be between it but it can be behind it and it has to be loose so the air can go over it so you need constant airflow take a deep breath even if there was a vowel after it breath and life <laughs> you will always have the th breath breath wish list the sh has continuous airflow and then you go to the l Wish list, wish list. Exclamatory. Ex hold your tongue in the K position so it stops the airflow. Exclamatory, exclamatory. Bilateral, bilateral. Relationship, relationship. They have the same pattern. Bilateral relationship. Allotted time. For allotted, the tongue will go to the D position and just stop and hold the airflow. And then when you release it on the T, then you'll hear the air. Allotted time. Rowdy party goers. Rowdy by itself. Rowdy. And party goers. Make sure you have goers. Two parts. This, um, I think, is how you <laughs> spell partiers because I probably don't say party goers. I would just say partiers. They both mean people who party. Inverted triangle. Inverted, hold the D, because you'll release the airflow with the T. Inverted triangle. Percent, hold the final T, percent. And this cent, the cent, and the cent all sound the same. <laughs> cent, cent, cent. Conscientiousness, conscientiousness. Explorations, explorations. Best, vest. So hold the final T because you won't hear it. You'll just put your tongue in the T position. Best, your lips are beginning from a closed position bah, and releasing with a burst of air. Best. Number 20, v, your lips can't start from a closed position. Well, they could, <laughs> but they shouldn't start from a closed position. They should start with your top teeth on your bottom lip and your lips back so that they can't touch. Vest, vest, best vest. This is my best vest. Dimension, 
dimension. And we talked about, yeah, you'll hear some people say dimension, and that's fine. It's just, it's probably less common because most American English speakers are going to change the di to a da. Dimension. Direction. Although you will hear some people say direction. Not, not wrong. It's okay. Direction. Enhancement. Enhancement. Hold that final T. Launching. Launching. Motivational. Motivational. Strategies. Strategies. So together, motivational strategies. Visionary. Another V. Visionary. Communication. Oh, I didn't put it together because this was somebody had this as a, a combination. So visionary communication. All right. That's, a, that's it for our vision today. <laughs> uh, thanks. And I look forward to seeing you next Monday. Um, there are two more Monday night meetups for pronunciation. Um, and after this year, I will only have the Tuesday pronunciation and um, also the Wednesday intonation. So just want to let you know the countdown has begun. There's two more Mondays. Uh, thanks. Have a good day.